week we are going to be focusing on adding some more layers to our original piece of artwork. A bit like what happens with emotions and feelings. So whatever you were feeling last week when you did your painting and you connected with yourself, we're now going to be adding another layer to that. Another emotion, another feeling. This week you need paints, pencils, same as last week, paint brushes, but also some PVA glue and some bits of paper that you're going to use for collage. I've used the insides of envelopes because I really like the patterns when you open up envelopes and see what's inside. Rip up the bits of paper and just intuitively think about where you want to put them on your piece. Each layer added is influenced by the layer below. The same as what happens with an unexpressed feeling or a trauma that happens where there's no one there to help you process it. Take the time to step back from your painting. Let those layers dry. Take some time to reconnect with the body. Sense those feelings of now. You may want to add some more to the painting to express what you're feeling right now in this moment. Feelings, when they can't be expressed with an emotionally available adult or a friend, they stay inside. Then more things happen, life happens, and you feel more stuff. You might feel good, you might feel awful, and it gets layered on top of that original feeling. Now, if it's a if it was a really painful, traumatic feeling you were having that you couldn't express and then more stuff gets layered on top of that, more feelings and emotions, you almost forget what the original feeling was. You can still feel it there, but you don't know why it's there. It's just this feeling in the background, like a dark cloud over your head. In order for that feeling of the dark cloud over your head, but you don't know why it's there, to go away and for the sun to come out again, that feeling needs to be expressed. 